10th grade business math class and uh, they were putting together a talent show at Easton High School. The band had all four musicians but they did not have a lead singer because the lead singer graduated the year before so they needed a lead singer and I heard overheard the drummer, a friend of mine, Jerry Rowe, and uh, he was telling someone else in the class, he says, yeah we, got, we have to find a lead singer for the, for the talent show. And so I just spoke up and said, well, I'll do it. So I convinced him enough. He says, come on over to the house thir Thursday at 6 o'clock. And I showed up, and 55 years later, I'm sitting here with you. <laughs> yeah, we had a little high school band called the Robes, and then we went on, you know, and then um, we messed around with that and a couple other little side gigs that, we were, that I was doing. Yeah. And then um, we put the Road Kings together. We piddled with it in 72, 73, and then 74, we, we, we nailed a, a, a real band. You know, we, had, we got to put our time in playing a little honky-tonk dive bars. And, of course, back then, that's what everything was. And, and you'd be hard-pressed to find, I think, three on the Eastern Shore right now. Yeah. They were everywhere. Yeah. Outside of Cambridge down Route 16, I think there were eight in Route 16s, yeah. not even eight miles. Yeah, we'd go in and say, hey, we're looking for a gig, you know, and da-da-da-da-da-da-da, and, you know, and, and back then, I mean, it wasn't nothing to take the band around and set up and play three songs and move on down the road. Yeah, we our first uh, gig in Ocean City came from from having the band go in, set the whole rig up, play a half dozen songs, and see you, you know, either get a job or we didn't, and then... Uh, and we worked enough of it, and then um, it, the old who you know started clicking in, yeah. and we were doing uh, some really nice gigs. And um, Washington D.C. gave us. I love playing in Washington. Still do. Where did, where did you Back go? then, we I went to, uh, we went to doing a duo. The band went its different ways, and the bass player and I played. And um, then we uh, were joined by a fellow by the name of uh, Billy West, who. It's still, still with us. Uh, <laughs> Billy joined in seven, late 75, uh, and I'll venture to say that he is by far the best guitar. And he, people come to the show and go, God, boy, can really play that guitar. I said, I know, I know. When we moved to Nashville in the 80s, uh, Willie Nof Nelson offered him a job. First out of lonely, real life, you're gone. Been holding back these tears, but I can feel them coming on. I've never felt like this. Such emotion deep inside. No a man has feelings too. But a man ain't supposed to cry. Then we joined by Charlie Burdell in 80, end of 82. And then Roger Lewis, our drummer, he, he uh, was with us in... 86 and for about 12 years and then he took a little break <laughs> and then he joined us back about 2010 2011 so traveled a good portion of the country we played with all all kinds of performers I mean every one of the everyone in the that era that the the 80s Willie Whalen Christopherson we didn't play with cash I wanted to play with cash oh. Well, I did get to meet him a handful of did times, you? so. Um, but yeah, uh, George Jones, Charlie Pride. I mean, there's George, Charlie, it. Hank Thompson's on the end, Mama's and the Papas. I mean, we, we were playing down the Florida Keys in Isla Mirada at the Holiday Isle, which was our like mainstay on the, in the Keys. And we started there in 1980. One of the bartenders down in Ocean City worked down there in the winter time, he says, you gotta get, I gotta get the Road Kings down here. I gotta get, and he had the guys here. And next thing you know, we got a six week stay down there and <laughs> gone. And, uh, and it worked from there, cause from there we went up and down the Keys, we you know, went down to Key West and Sloppy Joe's and all the, you know, the 
eh, not a lot, but three different places down there, and then a few places up and down the Keys, Big Pine, and um, Marathon, and then then we ended up with another gig in Key Largo. So we had we had a nice little swing through there. But then it, by playing down the Keys, I met a gentleman by the name of Hank Cochran, and Hank Cochran, uh, he was trying to, it was talking to me about why aren't you in Nashville? I mean, if you really want to make it, that's where you got to be, you know. Uh, Hank Cochran wrote, like, I Fall to Pieces for Patsy Cline. He wrote, She's Got You for Patsy Cline. Uh, he had a little Eddie Arnold song called Make the World Go Away that Elvis Presley also recorded. And he wrote some songs for George Strait, The Chair. That didn't work out. And then about eight months later, we were back down. That I ran into him at uh, Holiday Isle. And he came in his boat again. He goes, dog, you, you never called me when you got to Nashville. I said, Hank, you know I didn't get there. I would have called you. <laughs> he said, what's the problem? I said, well, I'm going to need a job. And I'm going to need a place to stay. He says, okay, you got a job. I'll hire you at the publishing company. You got a place to stay. You can stay on my farm. He said, now what else you need? And back during that, <laughs> that period of time, there were no cell phones. Yeah. So I said, I need to get over to that pay phone over there and call my wife and get her to start packing. Because when I get back, I'm moving out. And that's how quick that thing happened. Wow. And then when I got to Nashville, I got to meet some of the writers and, and plenty of the entertainers. It, it was a great run. It, it, I have not, you know, what the neat thing is, is that we were right, you know, we got right, right up to it. Just didn't get it over, you know? Yeah. But when I left out of there, I knew in my heart, I said, I don't have to think about this later and go, I wonder if. But from about 1988 on, I've enjoyed my music more than ever. And I honestly, and the guys, all, all four of us guys will tell you the same thing. We're having as much fun now as ever. A do -do 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 -do. Take us home, Willie! Thank you. I have the four greatest kids in the world and a beautiful wife. And yeah. We all work hard and we all work hard at it. And, yeah. and uh, you know, with their, with their help, and just it would be hard pressed to find a tighter family than what than what I'm fortunate to have. His family is a lot like, it is exactly like the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. My four kids, my five grandkids, and my wife. And they're husbands, hubbies. Yeah, right now, I, I think that we're gonna be settled into about 50 gigs a year, you know. We're not tearing up the highway, by no means. Yeah. Uh, and the majority of that's done from the end of April to the end of October. Pretty much locked in here. We're not not really traveling. I call it from the Bay Bridge to Ocean City, Brehoboth, Lewis, up yeah, that way, yeah. and um, and that's plenty. I really am for, I'm fortunate and uh, to have those guys because they're not only just superb musicians, and it's not just me saying that. Yeah. I mean, you can talk to anybody that knows just a little iota about music, and they'll say those guys are really talented. And above all, we're friends. I, you know, I mean, I, you know, they're my brothers.
But all in all, it's just been a great run. It's America. It's America. It's red, white, and blue. It's me, it's you, it's the finest. It's America. Black meat and taters. Land of the free, home of the brave. It's the greatest. It's America.